Okay, let's get back to this uh, filleting. I'm going to turn on conceptual mode. Um, I'll use this um, fillet edge option because you can see the action uh, unfolding as you work. Um, so choose the fillet, hit your down arrow, select a radius. Uh, 20 we'll start off with. Hit enter. That's the only one that's 20. Enter twice. Enter again. Down arrow. Radius 15 this time. Enter. So we can select that option and that option. So that's that done. Then we go and choose um, radius 10 and pick this. Now if I just choose chain it might do the whole thing. Perfect. Enter twice. So that's got that bottom bit out. There's 10 at the top as well. Enter that down arrow chain. Pick that as well. And let's pick those up. And that's got that in. Everything else is 5 mil. Okay, so I will just get on with that. Um, and you can watch it sort of as it sort of unfolds, as I said. Okay, I made a slight mistake. It's 10 mil in here as well. I thought there was something not quite right. So, fill it edge, down arrow, 10, enter, just do it around there, pick that, right, now everything's 5 mil.
okay what's happening here this <coughs> won't just fill it I need to select that bit there as well okay I'm still not wanting to do it select that down arrow chain there might be some extra bits that's better so the chain will pick out some extra little bits just in case Okay, so I think that is everything. Just checking under there, so it's all the way around there, all the way around this. Oh no, I've got that bit to do as well. Um, so let's fill it edge, select that down arrow chain, just pick around there, and then hit enter twice. So it's a very, very well not that long-winded, but some five minutes to do. But just make sure you pick up absolutely everything. The only thing I haven't done is this bit, and I'll show you why I haven't done that just yet. So shell, select that, remove faces, we'll just go on and pop the remove faces on that. It says there, one face found, one removed. Um, hit enter, enter our shell distance of two, and then hit enter again and then hit enter again and it shelled it out beautifully Look, so you can see down into the hole absolutely perfect and all I do is chop a thing out of there and then we've got pretty much our watering can nailed if I go back a couple of times so we haven't got it shelled <coughs> and now I put a fillet around that. Okay, now watch it, it'll do it this time and I'll be even more confused than I was before. Choose the shell command again, select the option, remove faces, just click on that face there, one removed, hit enter, two, and then enter. It's going to do it. Will you believe it? Well, I must have done something right this time. It might have been the, <coughs> the, um, the audience I don't know but it's the first time honestly that I've got this to work at a 5 mil radius with everything else done so I don't know why that worked this time and I spent several hours before um, trying to get it to work whatever I've done this time round um, I couldn't have done previously anyway so joy is me um, cylinder now to chop out the hole on that that is a 50 I think think what radius is it 80 radius to there does it tell us 80 diameter so 40 mil radius on that let's just turn this conceptual back to 2d circle position our circle there and that's 40 and then we can extrude this up and select it and just move this vertically down on the Z, negative Z by, I don't know, 10 and then just subtract this enter from this and there you go, there's the hole created into that. So let's have one more look at it in shaded that looks pretty much like a fantastic watering can okay so that's what we are aiming to to get the next thing is the uh, what should we do next <coughs> if we do we'll do this about last because that's a lot of fun we'll do this next and I'll point out some of the bits that you have to remember 
Um, this is 2 mil. This isn't 2 mil. That's a 45 degree chamfer there and there and there and there. Um, so we just have to be careful how we build this, but it's basically a revolve. So we need to create this shape and then revolve it around a center point which is sort of 8 mil from the inside or 10 mil from the outside or whatever. Okay, so we'll just work on that. Now I'll probably end up keeping uh, flipping backwards and forwards to this, trying to work out exactly what it is, but the overall size of it is 150 by um, 46. Okay, so 150 by 46. So we'll start off with that. So I'll go back to my top view. And I'll generate this 150, comma 46. Personally, I always like to have a little container in which to start creating things. I find it just works for me. Um, so, 20 mil in, and we'll put a center line in, and it's uh, 16 and 20, so that's 2 mil that side. So we'll pop in our center line. Extend that. Oops. And then at 20 mil, we have something. And we'll offset our center line by um, 8 and 10. And then Oops, that was the one we wanted. So that bit there, we trimmed out. Now, from this point, that's 46, that is 33, and then it steps in to 40. Okay, so that's 3 mil step down. So we've got 33 in and 3 mil down from the end. So we'll just track along, or draw along actually, 33, and then we'll drop down 3, and then we join that up with that point, I think. Let's just go back. 33 across, 3 down, and join it up with that 20 mil intersection. This is 2 mil, so we can offset this 2 mil, and this is 3 mil. And then whatever that step up is, that's Oh, this is 30 as well, so that's going to be 2 mil until it hits 30 mil there. So if I offset 30, oh, I need a line actually, so if I draw a line across there, 30, and then just track that up. Um, offset 2, so O. And this is 3. I've drawn the line there, so O3. And then I can TR, enter, enter, shift key down to extend. It's just easier than typing EX personally. So that's coming together. So we can trim that out can lose that, we can now lose that, and, oops, offset there didn't quite line up, so just make sure that you do that. The good thing about using the shift key with the trim and the offset and the trim and the extend is that um, you've got one nice little thing to do everything. So L for line, or L for leather. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've just got to chamfer these little things and rotate them around this point after we've turned it into a region or a polyline. Um, let's just check. We've got a one by 45 chamfer and we've got a 1 by 45 chamfer. So that's a 1 mil by 1 mil chamfer pretty much. 
So we'll choose our chamfer option. Let's do distance instead. One enter one. That's better. Stick to what you know. Um, now reg. I'm not going to get caught out again. Region. Enter. That's turned into a region. So now we do a quick little revolve. Um, where's the revolve? R O V. We haven't got revolve. Let's go to this one. And it's this here. So select object revolved. Enter. That's our angle of rotation, and it's 360 degrees. So that was easy. Look at that. That's conceptual. See? Lovely. Then that sits on that, and then we've got the little spout bit that goes, the little spout bit with all the holes in, that bit goes on to the next bit. So I'll just pause this and um, take a breather and be back very, very shortly.